In this video, we're going to solve the error window is not defined. So this happens in Next.js, for example, that's what we're using here. If you're using, well, the window object. So if you're using it like this, you're going to get an error and there are some ways to get around this. So the reason for this is simply because this window object does not exist on the server, right? So it only exists on the client. Now, even if you make this a client component, right? So these days we have client components and server components. And you may think, well, if we just make it a client component, it will only run on the client. And there we have the window object. So no issue, right? And actually, if I open up my terminal, we actually don't see the error here anymore for some reason. But what we, do, what we do get is some error here in the terminal. And that's actually the same error. And the reason that we're getting the same error is because a client component is still uh, pre-rendered on the server, right? So it's still, it's still rendered on the server at least once. And, and that one time it runs, it doesn't have access to that window uh, variable. So to get around this, there are a couple of ways. So let's actually remove this because we don't want to make something a client component if it's not necessary. Right, so now it's a server component. And again, I'm importing it here in my page. It's all in the app directory, right? Everything in the app directory is a server component by default. And um, so this is still a server component. And what we can simply check here, we can simply check is the type of window undefined or not? So it's going to be undefined on the server, right? But on the client, it won't be undefined. So in the, the, the curly braces here, we can we can be certain that this window object exists. And now we also don't get that error anymore here, right? So here you can use the window object and it's still a server component. All right, so another way of, of dealing with this is with the use effect hook. So what you can also do is you can say use effect. And then in here, let's say we only want to run it on mounting, first mounting the component. Here you can also access the window object because uh, these, these hooks use effect are only run on the client. Now we're going to get an issue because you can only use these in client components, not in server components. So here we have to convert it to a client component. And then you can see we also got rid of that issue, right? So this error was still from, uh, from the fact that it was a server component and we're trying to use use effect, right? So no error anymore, right? So then in here you can access the window object. Now there is one more way. What we can also do is instead of using this use effect, we can do lazy loading in Next.js. And this is actually what Next.js seems to prefer that you do. So let's remove this use effect import here as well. And so now I'm using this window object here. And let's see if I refresh. Yeah, so then we get that issue again here, this error. Now let's say we're importing that header here and we can do lazy loading. So in Next.js, what we can do is uh, instead of importing the header and then directly rendering it here, you can have an in-between step here, basically. You can say dynamic header. This is typically how it's called. So instead of header, you make a dynamic header. And I actually already get a suggestion here from Copilot, which I'm just going to accept. And actually, let me just write it out just so you have an, an idea of what we're doing here. So we're using the dynamic function. I need to import this. I'm holding control space bar so I get auto imports here. Next dynamic. Then in here, it needs to know the, the path to the component. So here we just need to provide uh, actually a function and then import and then in the import the path to the component. Right, so that's the same as here. We can actually remove this import here. Okay, so the first argument here is a function that actually imports the component. And then the second option here is we can provide uh, a setting here. Do we want this component to be server-side rendered? So you and we're going to say false. We don't want to run it on the server. So then you can use this dynamic header. This is going to be the component now that you use here in the rendering logic. And so if I save here and refresh, you can see now we also shouldn't have any issues. So now if I refresh, you can see we don't have that error anymore. This error, this error was from before. Now this dynamic is using uh, suspense under the hood. So you can also provide a loading uh, state here. So I think loading. Yeah, loading, you can uh, even do this. So in case it takes some time before it loads, you can have like a fallback. Yeah, you could see there was a fallback there, right? Uh, so 
I think this is a very nice uh, utility that you get from Next.js. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.